That's better. Alright. Hello, welcome back to uh, Radiant Dawn. And I have Kirby. For some reason, you do have Kirby. I don't know why. Look, I can prove it. Look, I got Kirby. <laughs> okay. Kirby is since real, when, guys. Since when did you have Kirby? Since when? Since today. My girlfriend gave me a Kirby plush today. <laughs> and I'm well, I, I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> doesn't your girlfriend live in the east of the world? Yeah, that doesn't mean she can't send me Kirby. <laughs> How is that even possible? Um, have you ever heard of Shipment? <laughs> yes, I heard of shipment, but how, but how, but how did she give me that kind of shipment for free? Well, it wasn't free. <laughs> well, you paid your GF. No, she paid. She paid. Uh, she paid for the shipping and the so it's like and a all that. So it's like a gift. It's a late. It's a late birthday present. <laughs> that is nice of her. Yeah. If only I could do shipping. Well, I mean, I already, I already gave her a, um... I already gave her, like, a Hello Kitty plush, like, back in December, so... Yeah. It's unbelievable, I know. Anyways, Marcia, the Crit Queen. There and is Dan Dev. Dan, Dan, or no, sorry, his name is Dan Ved now. Dev Dan. Dev Dan. Dan Ved. Astrid. Which you never used. You never used this dude either. Jeffrey. I might you, use him. You might have used him, I don't remember. I know you used Lucia. I almost said Lucina <laughs> by accident. I wonder why you mistaken her name. Well, Jacob, it's time to fight. Oh I shit. Don't know. I don't know! <laughs> I don't know! I don't oh. know! Alright, before I forget... Keyboard. There you go. I don't know! I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just fucking quoting this stupid Shrek line for the past day. It's what great. about the- No! No! I don't know! I don't- I don't have that separate. I'm not if sure if I should. <laughs> I mean, I have this. Mm. It's way better than first strike to say <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It kind of reminds me of Mario's no. What do you mean? Like when Mario dies in Superstar Saga and he just goes no. Okay, that sounds funny. I don't know. When somebody asks you a stupid question, you respond saying this. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, the lag is real. How can I fix that? Is there any way I can fix that? Um, yeah. As far as I'm aware, not really. I'll probably just minimize some stuff. Like, I probably don't need voice mod open. Yeah. Um, probably minimize Discord. And, um, Yukari's Booba, and Brave. Marissa's Cake. Marissa's Cake. Being measured. Yep, there you go. That should be better. And if it lags now, then whatever. It's, it's uh, Dolphin's problem, not mine. How about this? The Killing Edge. Alright, here comes Marcia's less interesting brother. <laughs> and the most hated. By the community. <laughs> Well, like, what, was there a popularity poll or something? You could say that. Yeah, I never really looked all that into those things. Maybe I should. Oh, nice, my phone's at A5. I can probably I'm have a look at it. I'm just saying that... That Marcia's brother is hated by the community. Yeah, let me, uh... Let me fix up my... Eh, whatever, some nice loading. Jacob, I don't think I'll ever use Astrid. I still hate Astrid? Damn. What did she ever do to you, man? She can't even level... She can't 
She doesn't even have good... She doesn't even have good stats. Sad. Yeah, and she can't double as well. Oh, here comes Dev Dan. Yep, the one man. of the best characters. One of the best characters, because he got a crit. He got a crit. A freaking crit. Before oh, I, mean, everybody I, mean, else. I mean, he has a killer lance. Makes sense. So does Astrid. She has a killer bow. Well, according to you, she sucked. So maybe I'll see if she has any good sauce on Pixiv then. To make up for it. Maybe right about that. <laughs> the first thing that pops up is Astrid Pokemon Trainer. I didn't even know there was a Pokemon Trainer named that. Honestly, this feels... Honestly, this is a legit battlefield from what I'm seeing. I mean, I had a feeling this map would be pretty big. I mean, it is huge. Okay, I'm learning that Astrid does not have a lot of sauce. <laughs> That's funny. Rebel. The best character named Rebel. <laughs> Rebel, my favorite, my favorite character. Oh, well, someone drew, someone drew a uh, fan art of her in the uh, Three Houses art style. Oh, Jacob, I what? have an idea. Try to search fan art for Nephany and Heather. Okay. Nephany. Apparently, apparently people do ship them. I'll just, I'll just search for Nephany art in general. <laughs> sure, I, haven't, do I haven't done that in a second. Sure, you could do that. Then after yeah. that, just... Yeah, so I went through all of Astra's art in, like, a couple minutes. That's how little art she has. <laughs> That's sad. Or Astrid. Luke says, "Bra, you gotta save storage at some point, lol. If you didn't, don't. If you didn't feel like it, but need to save storage, post it then. Or if you feel like it, IG." Who said that? Luke. I don't know. He he's talking nonsense again. I don't know what he's going on about. I'm not in Luke. any danger of losing storage. Oh, Luke Skywalker. Yes. My storage is fine, bro. Don't worry. You have a weird storage. I got like 300 gigs. I'm fine. And I only have like 700 gigs. And I'm, I mean, I'm planning to get a, uh, I'm planning to get an SSD whenever I get on disability. But who knows when that'll be? Why need an SSD for? Uh, more storage, and it speeds up your computer, like, three times as much. <laughs> at, least, do that. at least in terms of, um, what do you call it? It makes your computer boot up, like, three times as fast. So that's an already a good thing. Well, that's nice. Hold on a sec. Well, let me look at one more thing. Okay. Oh, I can't. I can't even look at my power plan. What the fuck? Ow. Ninety percent CPU. <laughs> what the hell is going on, man? Dude, I can't even look at my settings. What the fuck? Here we go. Oh, this this will take this will take like a second. Let me pause. What's wrong? With what does okay. VSync even do, anyways? Um, VSync's supposed to eliminate tearing, but I I don't know if this game does tear at all. I turned it off because it kind of lags sometimes. Marcia is always goaded. Well, I like her hairstyle a lot more in this game. Really? A lot better? Yeah, because she's got like the, uh. She's got like the. You know, 90s mom haircut going on. Yeah, I'm liking what <laughs> I'm seeing. After all, she's it. <laughs> After all, Marcia is in her 20s. I don't know how else to describe it besides 90s mom hairstyle. Jacob, Marcia is in her 20s. Hog. So she's smashable. <laughs> gotcha. 
You want to hear something fun? You want to hear something funny, Jacob? Uh, this guy getting a crit. <laughs> yes, but That's in this game, fun. but in this game, uh, Mist is actually 18 years old. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, you could see that for yourself. I'm not even lying. Oh, I guess we'll see when we get to bikes section. Damn, just slaying all these guys. Well, I have a whole army. So Where I don't think I'll ever lose. Most of the time. Okay, she can double. Finally! She can crit! <laughs> another, another good, uh, crit. Holy shit, what? You saw that, right? What? Look at the look at the EXP. She probably has that thing on that doubles her experience. Yeah, Paragon. She has she comes with Paragon. Interesting. She had, she came with that in uh Path of Radiance too. <laughs> yeah, but her yeah, but her stats are very low. That's the why I can't use her. You know what? Let's see what the wiki thinks. <laughs> but what the Scott think? The wizard? Yeah, Scott the wizard. <laughs> Jacob, he looks like a wizard, if I'm gonna be quite honest. <laughs> He's not as cool as Lotus Juice. <laughs> Lotus Juice. Also, apparently her name in Japanese is Stella, and not Astrid. Stella? That's... That's very, kind of a normal... That's a very that's different pretty, name. Kind of a normal name for her. Let's see... Let's look at the, um... I mean, honestly, her... I mean, the name Astrid kind of sounds like a name for a shooting star. Yeah, exactly. Let's see, um... Astrid is very difficult to bring up to par with the other available horseback units she is recruited with in Part 2 and Radiant Dawn because of her low level, being locked to bows and her terrible base strength. However, with access to Paragon, Astrid can level up fairly quickly and bring her stats up to par, but only if considerable efforts taken to feed her, her kills or let her hit an enemy for damage. In the first chapter she's available on this can be done to some extent, but after that, if no effort has been made on in Chapter 2-3, the chances of training Astrid are slim to none. While she does have Paragon, it's highly recommended to remove it from her and give it to someone else, as the skill is so useful for training units that using Astrid can be something of a waste. So you should mm. take Astrid off of her and give it to someone else, apparently. <laughs> Even once she reaches par level wise with other characters, her strength and speed are not impressive, which for a bow user can be problematic when trying to KO. However, she does excel in HP, luck, and res, which with excellent movement allows her to pick off enemy magic users quickly. I think I might know who I might give the Paragon to. And apparently she becomes good once you promote her to a Silver Knight, when her strength and speed become better. Astrid's main selling point as a Silver Knight is her high res, which can be put to considerable use in Endgame. Astrid's the only potential user of the Double Bow, aside from the Three Marksmen. Um, what else? Her caps are overall inferior to theirs aside from res, luck, and speed. Her only notably redeeming factor is her ability to use lances, but in endgame she should use the double bow. The range is 1 to 2 for her, while it's 1 to 3 for the marksmen, because of their innate ability to attack from 3 spaces away. Overall, Astrid doesn't show much benefits to wield the double bow over the marksmen, but she is usable. Basically, she's kind of useless. Astrid that can't learn Astra is a fake character. Isn't that the one that attacks from like all the way across the fucking map? Or am I thinking of something else? Jacob, a Jacob Astra is basically a, a skill that lets you attack five times. Oh yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. But there are but there are different inter interpretations of that skill because the one I know is from Engage. <laughs> It's also an awakening. Oh, there you go. It's also it's also in this game. And uh it's in genealogy. 
the very first the very first game that includes that skill. You know. But in some, in some of the games, uh, that skill got nerfed somehow. Well, I mean somewhat because it because that skill it it actually you lets you uh, damage the opponent on f on the full damage, but uh, when it's activated in different games such as Awakening, it only halves. I mean, that's not bad, right? Still it pretty good. It depends on the damage. I guess it depends how good the strength is. And the damage output. I love how the, the units just come running in and they just go, fuck you. <laughs> good job, Jeffrey. Astro's peak in FE4 because the Swordmaster's critting. Nice. Exactly. Look at all these yellow units you have. So many. Holy shit. <laughs> Wow, he maxed out three of his stats already. Yeah, I, Jacob, I think we are going to keep Jeffrey. All right. Yeah, he... Yeah, he's basically going to be useful. What does the wiki thinks about Jeffrey and Radiant Dawn? All right, let's find out. Well, his name in Japanese is pretty similar. It's Jofure. <laughs> so, they localized that. That sounds more Japanese, if anything. Alright, let's see. Um, overall, Je let's see. Um, Jeffrey is a unit with solid bases and decent growths in the game. But his usefulness as a unit is hampered by his poor availability and the low stat caps of his given class. He possesses solid growths in strength, HP, res, and skill, but his speed and defense suck, which may serve as a means to further hinder his potential. Due to Paragon, he can be quickly trained if fed enough, and then become more than capable of holding his own in the Tower of Guidance late in the game. So basically, he varies. <laughs> yeah. The wiki seems mixed on Jeffrey, even though he does cap pretty early on. He's good early game and kind of falls off later game is pretty much what I'm assuming. <laughs> but Jeffrey's cooking right now, so that's what matters. What about, what about Leith? What about Leith, however? Well, I remember what they said about her in Path of Radiance. Let's we'll see if that's changed. <laughs> her name in Japanese is Rete. <laughs> You want to hear something funny about Leith? What, she's a kitty? No, but, uh, you will be surprised that she has relatives. Let's see who they are. Relatives. Um... Someone called Liar. I don't know who that is, but I guess we'll meet them. <laughs> I'm sh I, I could assure that you haven't seen who she is. Uh, it'll, it'll be better once I see it in, in the context of the game. Let's see. Sure. In part two, Leaf will be pretty decent, although by no means the best. Her stats are all are decent all across the board with high speed. Yet she has somewhat low growth and gains very low, low XP, making it hard for her to take off. As a cat, her biggest disadvantage is her quick transformation times, meaning she can only stay in her transformed form for a few rounds, and keeping her transformed for longer periods will require heavy uses of olive grass. In part 3 onward, Leith is still able to perform double attacks somewhat reliably due to her high speed, but her other stats will prove to be a detriment, like her defense and strength. She'll most likely sustain large amounts of damage, alongside inflicting low amounts of damage at the same time. It doesn't help that her availability doesn't match the Grail Mercenaries either. She gains around only around 10 XP at best on normal per kill in part 3 and her untransformed bases don't allow her to deal damage at all for training purposes, resulting into a unit who is very difficult to grow. An energy drop might fix her damage output somewhat, but after that she'll still struggle really hard to level up outside of getting help from bonus XP. So it's saying you should give 
put like most of your Bonex XP into Leaf <laughs> if you want to use her. In general, Leaf is considered a one and done character. She can she contributes well in part two for two chapters, but she kind of sucks after chap after part three, while still being useful for chip damage. So Leaf got kind of nerfed in this game, honestly. Yeah, that's that's worse. That's worse than I thought. Like she has really shitty growth in this game compared to Path of Radiance. Katakana is wild. I mean, in Path of Radiance, she's okay, but... Wow, I can't believe she's worse in this game. Yeah. So, good to know that her growth is terrible, and you should only use her if you're really dedicated to train the kitty up. Yeah, maybe. Well, because I, I, mean, I, I, I did notice that, like... I'm pretty sure, like, you can't transform Leaf immediately anymore, like in Path of Radiance. Was I... Am I wrong? Well, I mean, there is one item that might let me transform permanently, but there are penalties to it. Yeah, and since her strength is worse in this game, uh, it might, like, make her not do any damage at all. There are much better Laguzes to use. Um, yeah, like, Muram was pretty damn good. He was cooking in part one. What about that one Laguse who has insane stats that rival that rivals even the Black Knight? I forgot hmm. her name though. But I know she's a wolf. I I think. Kerbo is the guest host instead of the funky ice fairy. Oh yeah, Zeppy, you weren't here when I told you, but my girlfriend gave me a Kirby plush today. And so now Kirby is going to be the star of today's episode. <laughs> instead of instead of funky fairy who should be at the BGs yes the BGs it's hip the fuck BGs <laughs> yeah that's the one who I'm talking about Malaya yeah Oh, yeah, right, I remember her. Yeah, she is really good. Or Nyla. Yeah, Nyla. Not, yeah, not, she... not Nalia. Yeah, she, she is extremely useful. I mean, I'm sure you've seen her stats before. Yeah, she, yeah, she has good stats. I forgot about her, because it's been a little while since part one. I remember yeah. I remember uh, Volug more, because <laughs> he, she... he, he was cooking pretty well, too. Even though she will, even though she will appear later on the late game, she will still prove useful. I'm sure of it. Oh, yes, my favorite character, Crimea. Crimea. <laughs> Crimea is my favorite character. Yeah, definitely. Wow, I th I feel like we are gonna finish this chapter early on. Yeah, it's been 25 minutes already. Yeah, I guess so. I feel like this one still will take a bit longer. I wonder. I wonder. I'm. I'm wondering when um, the cool characters from Path of Radiance will show up, like um, Nutella, and um, what were the other characters? I only remember Nutella. Oh yeah, um, the barn. <laughs> He's pretty cool. And oh shit! What, what was the other one? Oh yeah, wasn't it like... Was it, uh, Steve Harvey? Damn was it. that the other guy? Oh! No. Well, he's dead. Wait, he died? Yes. <laughs> well, shit. Are you just gonna let him die? <laughs> no. I no. didn't even save. Oh, well, shit. So what do we do now? I mean, I've made so much progress in this chapter. I mean, but... you're not gonna use them, are you? No, not really. We had a few, we had a few deaths in um, Path of Radiance, anyways. It's okay. Yeah, I mean, you it's let, not. Like... I mean, you let Shinnen die, so <laughs> whatever. Yeah, it's not like I'm gonna use... 
not like I'm gonna use Marcia's brother anyway. You never did in Path of Radiance, I don't think you will in this game. Nope. Well, just just to, just to check, I want to see if what the wiki thinks about him. But if it was, but if it was Marcia, however, then I would definitely reset. Well, do you want to save state right now, then? I mean, sure. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Let's see, um... Akalov does not have the best offensive stats, and many other sword users would be more useful in the long run. Makalov's mount and high stats across the board make him useful in the long run, and can be even brought into the Tower of Guidance and have the vague Caddy and Allendite blessed to get a further boost to his decent defense. So his strength isn't that good, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Anyway, last week... I think that's gonna make it even funnier than when he show when he shows up in that one cutscene. Cause I know there's an animated cutscene where Shinnin shows up, and he like he's just there, and it, it's gonna be really funny because in our head canon, Shinnin died, and he's gonna be back. He's like, I'm back, bitches. He comes back from the you dead. Do you even know what what cutscene you're referring to? I don't know what part it's in. I just know Shinnin shows up and he shoots like an arrow. And yeah, that, and... no, yeah, we are going to see that scene really soon. Oh, is it in this part? <laughs> well, at least at the end of this section. So after section two is over. Yep. Yeah, I, I saw that on YouTube because um, I, I watch uh, I watch a channel called Who Is This Git? And he does that like is an the one. That is the one that everybody recognized the most in Radiant Dawn. Oh, I see. <laughs> the racist motherfucker sucks ass. Hmm. To be honest, I forgot all about Shin because he was in like a fur like the first few episodes of Path of Radiance. He left he left Ike's party. We met up with him in that one chapter and he died. So he wasn't even in the story all that much. I wonder if Shinin would be useful in this game, however. You want me to look? Yeah. I mean <laughs> I mean, there there is a legendary weapon called the Double Bow. It's really powerful. Damn, he's 30 years old in this game? What the fuck? He's what, old. you thought he would be in his 20s? Yeah, he looks younger. <laughs> I mean, people still look young in, in their 30s. Yeah, according to FE, if you're 40, you look like an old person. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's weird. Shinnin is much easier to use in Radiant Dawn due to his solid base stats. He's lots easier to train than everybody else, and is therefore preferred choice. Furthermore, Shinnin possesses excellent bonus experience, as his skill, HP, and speed are nearly capped when he joins the party. In conclusion, he's a great contender for your marksman of choice, who will be able to wield an extremely powerful double bow on the last chapter, which not only makes him an e even deadlier character, but also grants him the ability to attack from close range. His bow, the silencer, not only adds to his high crit rate, but also his high hit rate. He's not only good at dealing out attacks, but damaging but taking them. So the wiki says he's fucking great in this game. So basically, he's one of the best units in this game. At least the best bow unit. <laughs> oh, here's another crit from DevDan. Wow, he... <laughs> Shannon wow, is I can't that DevDan oh. is really good. Ooh, Speedwing! Oh hell yeah! You know, let's see what the wiki thinks about Dev Dan. You know, Jacob, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna give that to fucking Marcia. But Dev Dan, aka Danvid, aka Darahau, or Dalahau, Dalahau, or uh, Uharada, Uhulada. He has a lot of names. <laughs> Dev Dan, also known as the alternate persona Danved, is a playable character from Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn. Obviously. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> when Je let's see. When Jeffrey responds by greeting him as Dev Dan, Danved asserts that Dev D Danved is definitely not Dev Dan, and that many people make the mistake of mixing the two up. 
That's funny. It is kind of funny. You know what, Jacob? I am honestly surprised that Astrid didn't even die. Ironic that Makalov died before Astrid. That's... that is awful! Let's see. Danved suffers from poor availability and only appears in select chapters in Part 3. His stats are very well-rounded, but he may face difficulties in promoting into a Sentinel before Part 4. If the player decides to use him nonetheless, it's recommended to exploit his unusually high magic stat by assigning the Imbue skill on him. What is that? Well, I'm not sure. Um, Imbue allows the user to recover HP equivalent to their magic at the start of every turn? Holy shit. That is pretty good. One way, to, one way of promoting him in Part 3 is assigning Paragon onto him, as his growths are well-rounded enough to make him suffer from inefficient natural leveling. He has the highest HP and luck, but lowest skill among the three Halberdiers. His strength, speed, and defense, and res are in the middle between Nephany and Aaron. Compared to Nephany, he has lower speed, skill, and res, but higher HP, strength, defense, and luck. Compared to Aaron, he has lower strength, skill, and defense, but higher HP, luck, speed, and resistance. Prior to promotion, he will most likely cap HP, speed, and skill, and possibly strength, defense, and luck, and even res and magic. He'll have trouble capping these stats as a sentinel, but due to his relatively low starting level, bases... Possessing bases are not far from being capped as a halberd here. He can, he can possibly possess all capped stats just before promotion. As stated before, Imbue is a highly useful skill on him, and due to his high HP and fair defenses, Danved will not die. This is furtherly accumulated by his high luck and fair speed. His, he his offense may not be best, but it's nothing to laugh at. Overall, he's one of the best, well-rounded characters possessing high stats and may face some difficulty in using his relatively poor availability. So basically, you should use Dev Dan whenever you, he's, you're able to use him. <laughs> basically, is what it's saying. So he's limited. You don't get to use him much, but when you do have him, he's fucking great. Is what I'm getting from the wiki. You're <laughs> <Why? laughs> Because he has really good stats. Well, it's just, Jacob, you need to give him Paragon or something, because you level up slowly. Wow, that, that is one of the worst level ups I've ever seen. Everybody needs Paragon. You just take it off of Astrid. Keep Astrid alive just so you can take Paragon off of her and give it to someone who actually needs it. Well, no shit. That's why I'm going to keep her alive. Again, ironically enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, I knew this chapter would take a little while. No, nah, it's not that bad, Jacob. It's taking longer than the other chapters, at the very least. Oh yeah? How how long is it right now? 35 minutes. See? It's not that bad. We We're finishing this chapter anyways, Jacob. Okay. I'm having fun. I am having fun. Well, Kirby's having fun, too. Bleh. Bleh. 21. Cool. I don't know! I don't know! <laughs> now it's time to kill. Time to kill. Da -da -da -da. Okay, this is kind of bad. But, um... Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. There's a lot of there's a lot of units to go through. <laughs> Jose, I can complete four lunatic face chapters in 35 minutes. Lol. Are they really that short? Mm. Only by pressing the skip button. Yes. Oh. Try try doing without it sometime. Actually, maybe don't. That takes too long. Wow! Okay! Like, I don't mind watching the battles in this game because it's, uh, they're really quick. They don't really take that long. 
All right, Dev Dan, time to break the door. Like that. Too bad you can't use great ether on the door. You want to hear something funny? I'm literally, <laughs> I'm literally cornering the the specific archer. Lol. You know, you know what else is fooling me? What? The boon me. I always like boon me. Yeah, this chapter is basically over. Well, here's these funny yellow units that aren't doing anything. Oh yeah, so guys, uh, I heard this weird, like, moaning sound outside my window a few nights ago. What? And I finally found out what it was last night. What was it? There was a stray cat outside my house. Okay. And it turns out that that moaning was the cat crying for food. Oh, how sad. And so I caught- I, uh, randomly, one of the guys- oh, hold on. <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? You don't even know. <laughs> he looks like Bonehead's brother. <laughs> we'll be heroes. A boring shower with riches, dude. He literally looks like a bootleg version of Butthead. Boothead. <laughs> That's what we'll call him. Bootleg head. No, just call him Boothead. <laughs> Also, that crit looks scary. Yeah, so randomly, one of the guys next door, he came out and he was like, Hey, can I help you with something? And I was like, yeah, I don't know whose cat this is. And he was like, oh yeah, I called the, uh, I called the animal services. So I'm hoping they actually pick up that cat, and then they can, like, go, like, put it up for adoption or something. Okay. <laughs> Stand strong a little longer, dude. Stand firm for the revolution. You know what he looks like? You know who he looks like, actually? What? He looks like Cyrus from Pokemon Platinum. Honestly, Butthead is funnier. <laughs> it's Butthead and Cyrus as a character combined. More reinforcements? Well, better well, kill I'll let them. Take, well, I'll let them take care of that. I'll better kill him before the reinforcements get here. Also, am I right in assuming and in, in remembering that Shadow Dragon has maps that can spawn infinite reinforcements? That's mystery. That's new mystery of the emblem. Oh. Is that, is that true? I can't remember much of what happens in Shadow Dragon in Shadow Dragon DS. Yeah, because I'm only thinking of that. Oh, yeah, oh, when they're around, the yellow guys will take care of the reinforcements. Oh, it's like these guys might not even be here. Well, I just want to finish the chapter quickly. And they are literally dodging. What the heck? <laughs> I mean, reinforcements? What are those? Alright, Marcy is cooking still. I still gotta be careful with that crit, however. Bro. Well, even if he did get a crit, you still wouldn't die. <laughs> Marcia can still survive another hit. Actually, why don't you have Dev Dan take him on? Dev Dan could probably take this guy on. Yeah, he can. Well, yeah. not, not like that. Well, I mean, yeah, you can. You, you might get a crit. 38%. That's pretty good odds. Well, the odds may be good, but he, did, he didn't even crit. Oh, well. He's going to do an unnecessary crit, however. <laughs> even better. All right, you guys, you, got, you guys can piss off. He's not even attacking. What the heck? All right, just fast forward. Yeah, I'm doing that. Doesn't feel like you are. There we go. 
Wow, he just doesn't even crit. Boom. Neither does Dev Dan. <laughs> Dev Dan's the goat. Look at, look at how proud of himself he is. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I did it. Well. <laughs> the woe dow. You know, well, it looks like I have to go down. Yeah, instead of the woe dow, it should be called the woe mama. <laughs> okay, that's funny. <laughs> Alright. Just fast forward. Yep. Just fast forward again. Oh. You can always fast forward if you want. What is it tab? Yeah, you just hold tab. Sir, the rebels have been routed. Some managed to escape, but most of them surrendered their weapons. Bye bye. Did I voice this guy? No, I did. Oh, you did. General Jeffrey, no signs of <laughs> Phil Rain uh, regulars, is there? No. This was a ruse. Duke <laughs> Phil Phil Rain's uh, main force is most likely en route to the capital. But how? Quickly, rally the troops. We must return to Meteor Herd at once. <laughs> Meteor Herd. <laughs> Don't panic. They want us to act rashly. Settle down. We have we have contingencies in pl in place. Light, like the flares to notify the capital. Move, man. I don't know. It's likely we'll be ambushed on the way back to the capital. Don't let anything escape your notice. We may be able to alternate a route back to the capital. Send some men out there to investigate the investigation team on the old highway. Is it Radical Highway? <laughs> no. Those of you who remain, disarm the prisoners and tend the wounded. Let's move, everyone! I guess generic F.E. house. Well, it looks like a prison. Hey, yeah, look, it's Venom. Well, look at that. Somebody launched a flare. And from Phil Ray. Of all places. Is it Giga Flare? Yes. <laughs> the emergency signal from Jeffrey. As I suspected, the rebels are just a decoy. Sir Venom Snake, thank you for the assistance. Hey, wait, are you telling me that you knew this all along? We knew we knew the Duke was up to no good, but if we had known about the decoys, we would have never sent the royal knights to the castle, Felrain. I suppose. I suppose I'm just surprised that Lord Ludwig von Koopa, the supposed emptome of nobility, would be so willing to sacrifice his followers. You know, you play a pretty deep game, woman. We all do. Wouldn't you say Her Majesty is Fort Elpa? Or due to, due to hear from her at any moment, I'll go check on that sharp ass tack, aren't we? I think I'll be excused then. Actually, there's one more thing that I want you to that I want you to wait just a bit longer. If all, if all goes as planned, I'll be back shortly with your payment. Then you may do as you wish. Oh hell yeah! And if that's, and if all of that doesn't go plan, then I'll s then I'll set set out for Fort Alp Alpia, and alert the the queen. I'll let you send the message to Jeffrey. Thank you. Hmm. Very well. Might as well take a nap. Oh, that guy is so me. 
Just takes a nap whenever I have nothing to do. Well, that's relatable. Time to hide. Well, any loose? Any nudes from a li <laughs> Any nudes from Queen Alencia? <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't even spell. I was about to say any news from Alencia from Queen Alencia. I mean, I wouldn't complain about any nudes from Queen Alencia either. Jacob, I can't even speak. <laughs> I'm, I am literally trying to speak quickly. <laughs> Comedic timing. <laughs> That was unintentional. <laughs> why why does me saying something that's unintentional always funny to you? Uh I love typos. They're fooling me. What? How? Do you Yes, me. I was very hurt by how cruelly you manipulated me, my lady, and I am not easily wounded. Ludwig, how did you... My lady, I am certain to know of any and all facts from your, that concerns your activities, my dear lovely Lucia. Wahoo! Oh yeah, it was quite some time ago that I was informed of both this place and your network of shady assistants. Oh. Um. I would like to know one more thing, something only you are aware of, where the Queen's currently hiding. Good luck finding that out. Perhaps it's a little place called Alpia. Fuck. All that foolishness, the ruses, the informers, the secret flight from the palace, <laughs> all that effort wasted. Is that so? <sighs> I can see that my lady still retains secrets. Would it trouble you so much to tell them to me? To you? Ludwig, I am afraid there is nothing to tell you. Lady Lucia, I'm done with these games. You'll tell me whatever I wish to know, but I believe I already know your secret. We shall see. Ooh, spooky. Alright, Jacob, we made it. And now for SpongeBob narrator again. I'll be right back. All right. Having anticipated Queen Alencia's attack, the majority of his Ludwig's forces his fucking the face. The troops stationed at Castle Felleray were merely the bait with which to lure Joffrey and his troops away from Melior. In Joffrey's absence, Ludwig's Joffrey is nothing less than to take the royal palace and Queen Alencia with it. Lucia, foreseeing a possible attack on the capital, arranged for Queen Alencia and Princess Leanne to be secretly moved to Fort Alpia. Yet Lucia herself is unable to evade Duke Ludwig's agents. Yeah, we can do Link Rain on Sunday. In the dead of night while attempting to contact an informant. Queen Alencia receives the sad news the next morning. Endgame, Alencia's Gambit. Hangman's Gambit. Fourth Alpia. It has P in it. Okay. Here you go. What? Every time, I always go somewhere out of my room, it's not, it doesn't even take that long. Yeah, well, I put a BRB screen anyway, just in case. <laughs> I don't even know how to do that. Well, I know I did. <laughs> but you could at least show me the way. <laughs> Yes, I can show you the way. Yeah, just like when the Sonic movie part 2 just referenced that. 
<laughs> but the funny thing about Knuckles in, in the Sonic movie, too, is when he says, when you freaking read the text message. <laughs> what text message? That that Sonic sent to the Donut Lord. <laughs> the Donut Lord. And then Knuckles just say, dot, 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 dot. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what he said in in the Sonic 2 movie. I'm gonna lay down. Okay, that's fine. So, we're guessing that the flare sent from Jeffrey's troops means Ludwig's plans to come to your... comes <laughs> for you, your majesty. You know what, Jacob? I am so tired of reading that I can't even speak properly. <laughs> well, I mean, I get to voice Ike in the next section, so it won't be all that bad. Hopefully. He's probably marching his troops towards this fortress as we speak. Since it's come to this, I'd like to stick around and help. Let me know if you need me. Holy shit, character arc. I see. Thank you ever so much, sir, Venom Snake. I have one more question, though. What about Lucia? Have you heard anything from her? Is she safe? We found a man's body in the village in the safe house. We believe he was her messenger, and we found this. No! This is... This is Lucia's hair! But, but how? Was that why she gets a trim? What do you mean? Is that why her hair ends up being shorter? <laughs> yeah. That's a really funny reason. Well, we assume that Ludwig Incher inf <laughs> infiltrate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say inflirted. <laughs> inflirted. I mean, he did flirt with her. It makes sense. <laughs> her network of spies and captured her. This is his way of letting us know. It also means she's still alive, which means we can still save her. Queen Alencia, it's up to you to determine the best course of this action. <laughs> the best COA. Yes. <laughs> I know. Royal Guards, arm yourselves, and prepare to meet the rebel forces in battle. I will be commanding you personally. Your Majesty, but you're the Queen. It's much too dangerous. Please, assign a subordinate to this duty. Zeppi asked what's inflirted. Uh, I don't think I want to know. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. It sounds like inflation and flirt, like, combined into one word. What? <laughs> I don't even know. That's what it sounds like. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Just play it. Uh, I'm not near my keyboard, but you can press 8Q if you want to play it. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. There we go. My vocabulary is always random. I can't even... That's the reason why I can't even speak properly. Yeah, now he always comes into my chat and just says, We're Bunny. <laughs> Who said that? You do. You always come into my chat and you just say, We're Bunny. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Hey, Jacob, remember Ocelot saying, No. No. <laughs> I wonder what key that's from. Wasn't that that fucking Metal Gear Solid video you sent me? Like, that animation? Yeah. <laughs> that's the one that I actually shown you. I forgot to add that to my soundboard. No. No. <laughs> I'm sure it's somewhere in the DM. Uh, yeah, it probably is. I mean, if you want, you can press Alt and G. Play Gosselot's quote. 
Okay, maybe later. I will not. It is my in indecision that has allowed the rebellion to come this far. I refuse to run from this problem any longer. Hair. Lucia. Lucia, I'm sorry. Somehow I promise. Somehow. I promise you, I will save you. That's an even crazier trim than my trims. Princess Leanne. Sir Neil Armstrong. This fortress will be soon under siege. To what? Somehow, the enemy has found out that I am hiding here. To find friends, you must escape. I sing and help. Queen Alencia? No, under no circumstances. No. I, will no, I won't allow any of such things. I like help, Queen Alencia. Now, now, when my lady makes up her mind, nothing in Tellius can sway her. And me, I'm sure you wouldn't mind having these old bones on the battlefield. Sir he's not Neil. he's not constipated today. <laughs> Sir Neil, honestly, I couldn't. <sighs> Wait until you see me. Even at my age, I'll be one step ahead of those freshly hacked whooper snappers. Very well. I must prepare as well. I had hoped that this day would never come. A meaty, a treasure blade of House Crimea will still awaken from its long slumber. Oh yeah, that's the four times sword. Yo What sword? The four times sword. I prefer to call it the quad sword. The quad sword. You got physic. Definitely give that to Alencia as well. Maybe I would. Maybe actually, I think she you. actually she already has it. Well, you never gave that Ashera icon to anybody. Neither did I give the sacred book to. Yeah, you got all this good stuff. Maybe I'll go shopping. Hey, dude, you gonna buy some cool stuff? Nope. Not really. But I'll manage. Alright, who we give an experience to? I mean, there are many good choices. And we have Khalil. Yeah. The one that we haven't even seen. She was supposed to be in Path of Radiance, but you never found her. <laughs> no, not really. But nonetheless, I am happy to have her. Yep. I love how half of these units just show up without even, like, saying anything. They're like, oh yeah, I'm here now, by the way. I, won I wonder why. Hmm. You know what? Screw it. Yeah. Give it all to Lincia. Girl hasn't even leveled up yet. And actually, question: Can Alencia promote, or is she stuck at Queen? This is her primary class. So can she promote, or no? <laughs> no. 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 This is basically her pre-promoted third-tier class. Oh. But she is still useful, nonetheless. I mean, look at that look. <laughs> I'm gonna give all the stat boosters to Alincia. Based option. <laughs> Level up Brom. I'll do that eventually. Now she has 32 luck. She doesn't need more luck, if I'm gonna be quite honest. <laughs> and again, luck is a pretty situational stat anyway. Yeah, that's true. Who deserves the last look? You know what? Sure. 
Br not Brom? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say no. No. You're gonna give it to Queen of Thighs instead? Yeah. Alright, I never finished looking up uh, looking at the Nephany fan art. Right, I was gonna do that. I just like the fact that she doesn't even level up strength and she caps out speed. <laughs> Good on her. Hmm. I think I'm good on weapons. Yeah, I think you are. She doesn't even need the slim sword. Not really, no. <laughs> the amity is good as is. Alright, Jacob. This is the last chapter of this game. Oh, hell yeah. Well, I mean, for the section at least. The battle will begin soon. I want both of you to promise me that you will fall back if you're in danger, okay? Fall back, your majesty. No one can hold a candle at the top speed at which the Raven tribe retreats. <laughs> That's a relief. Reporting, sir, Fort Elpia's gates sealed, and they're running in their defenses. I see. Lady Lucia must have arranged some way to warn the Queen. But alas, even if they were to have all the energy and luck in the world, the Royal Knights wouldn't arrive for two days. In any case, there's no way we can lose, considering that we have a card which is yet to be put into the game. Your Majesty, dire, dire docks news! The rear gate is open, and the rebel army's storming in! What? How could this happen? I think you understand what he questioned this, man. You guard the inner garden, right? You scum! You helped the rebel army, didn't you? Yes, yes I did. I did it because it was the best thing for the future of the country. Those Dane murderers killed my entire family, and now the Queen bows down and wags her tail at them. It's a disgrace. Silence, you're the traitor here! Prepare to die! Wait. Killing this man will do nothing to help our situation. We have to halt Ludwig and his men. They are already inside. I'm gonna help out there too, dude. Mordecai will fight for you, man. Qu Queen Alincia. Dude. From. You can count me in, your majesty. Queen Alincia. Crimea needs you more than anything, and I reckon you can use my help too. My homeland being ruled by a star is stiff like Ludwig? Please, I don't think so. Your Majesty, we would give our lives for our Queen! Allow us to fight! Thank you, everyone. I am indeed the Queen of Crimea. And a Queen does not hide our enemies and fellow citizenships of Crimea. We can no longer sit and idle as they destroy the harmony of our nation. Yeah, luck is mid unless you worry about crits. <laughs> why is Holy everybody why is everybody Western? Because uh they're from the farms, you know. <gasps> Could our situation be any better? Just look at these fragile defenses. As fragile as the Queen's rig. Reigns. Uh, oh. Reigns. Oh, the Queen's taken command? I expected her to ban her people, turn tail and run for the hills. Hopefully she isn't she isn't the Alincia from Path of Radiance. This this is Radiant Dawn, uh Alincia we're talking about. She literally does become a strong queen. Yeah, like strong bad. How preciously naive. We shall have to teach her that being overly optimistic can be fatal. I'm just kinda I don't know where I'm going with this voice. It's just kinda taking me places. Mm. We get banger hey, music. Hey, Jacob, I'm gonna return to the base. 
<laughs> Return to base, bye. <laughs> and we're gonna do some support. Well, with gra with Grandpa and Luann. Friend number the support that I could be best suited for. Well, it's something. Yeah, I am gonna leave the base. All right, Jacob, this is it. The end game. Hell yeah, brother. Prom is the goat. However, before I start, I want to see if there's any more good items to steal. Uh, nullify? Who, is Who has it? Apparently this armor guy. Draco, Ooh, shield. Draco shield. I'm going to steal that. But it's close oh. to Oh. We shot the Ooh, tomahawk. Drop. I need that. I'm gonna give. I'm definitely gonna give that to Alinstia, However, oh yeah, since, since she did mess up oh. her her level ups. I think that's everything. Yep, that's everything. No, that one. Oh, silver great lance. Jacob, this is the one bow that I have to be careful. Especially for flyers, you know oh, why? Yeah. Oh yeah, because it'll kill Lindsay on one hit. Yeah, no joke. So, so, so does Leanne, actually. Yeah, and um, Grandpa. Yeah. And 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 uh, Venom Snake. Yeah, that is the one. That is the one weapon I should be that I should be cautious of. So. I like this preparation that, music. So with that aside, uh... And Nephany still has the Spectre card, which you're probably never going to use. Yeah, it's likely that I'm not going to use that. Okay, so I think I'm ready. Oh... Your goal you're is going? to stave off the enemy. Don't waste your energy attacking. Just tighten up your defenses. There she is! And Queen... Crit Queen's back. Queen Alencia, I made it! Mar <clears throat> Marcia! Thanks to the General, Jeffrey, we spotted an ambush on the main road and snuck by by the old highway instead. The Royal Knights will be here soon. I flew ahead to tell you and to, s and to serve up somewhat of the traitor's pie on my lands. Thank you. I'm impressed that you made it so quickly. My pleasure, your majesty. And which monkeys do you want to want fleeted before the royal knights get here? This map is in Fates? Interesting. Yeah, this is one of the DLC maps that is in Fates. Also, no, I know how Defend Chapter works. Shit, a bowgun? Already? Wow, that was fast. Oh my god! Oh my god, that is awful. 54 damage. That is an insta-kill. Damn. Insta-kill. Yeah, those are the bows that I have to be careful of. The better bows. Yeah, this is a time that I really have to strategize. Hopefully this one doesn't take as long as the part one's endgame. That took like Jacob, a couple, like took like an hour almost. Jacob, this is 15 turns. Ah. So it's a, it's a tower defense map. Basically, yeah. So she's a magic user. Nice. Yeah, she is a mage. And she has meteor. I'll know when I'll use it, though. Probably on emergency situations.
I like that you just get to straight up use everybody. Almost everybody. I mean, there's probably somebody I'm forgetting that's missing here. Really? Who is it? Oh yeah, uh, I don't see Dev Dan. They'll be here momentarily. And, uh, Kieran. Yeah, my flyers are in a really bad situation. I can't believe that I'm stuck with really weak Lagoos. I'm sorry, but it's true. Yeah, yeah, I'll level them up first. Well, at least the at least these yellow units can do stuff. Jacob, I don't think you know how Lagoose level ups work. No, not really. They level up slowly. Well, I mean, the wiki said that. No, not door. He's my favorite Jacob, unit. Jacob, I'm sure you saw that before. Yeah, it says like Leaf levels up really slowly. Jacob, you saw her level up. You saw. No, Leith. not Wall. He's my Wall. favorite unit. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> De definitely Wall is your favorite. <laughs> yeah, Wall is such a good unit. He has the best character arc. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, uh, I'm very sure that's... No, that's... no, Wall's dead! Yeah, Alright, ho right, ho right, Jose, 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 you gotta reset. Wall died. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll definitely re reset it. <laughs> Wall is dead. There goes the no death run. First Makalov and now Wall. That's too many deaths for one episode. Yeah, yeah it's how, how <laughs> sad. That door is the best. <laughs> door is the best unit. Oh, better that there. Damn, Nephany. Yeah, she is that strong. Yeah, he's kicking ass out here. And she may or may not be surrounded. Who has the bow gun again? Mmm, that guy. Oh, well, we got some bewitching thighs. <laughs> Still haven't crawled across any Nephany Heather art yet. I could find it. Oh, I'll, I'll keep searching. Oh, we got some Makaya though. I agree. I agree with that. Oh, there we go. I found some. What? Some Nephany and Heather art. <laughs> Hooray! Maybe I'll, uh, I'll send that. Door cap though, <laughs> HP and defense. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he sure did. Dude, he has more HP than um, Ashnard. Rest assured. It raised eyebrow. Raised eyebrow. I wonder what that means. Funny of you to say that as I'm sending the, the sauce.
I like, I like these just random yellow units. <laughs> I will say something, and you will say true and base. Get ready. Well, well, I'll be, I'll be the judge of that. I'll be just, I'll be the judge of that chat member. Yeah, be the judge. Yes. Okay. Let me see what Zephy thought about that sauce. <laughs> Those two are an S support already. So they are high tier support. Leaf and Liar X Soren best rare pair. I have never heard of that in my life. Wait, what? <laughs> Leaf X Soren. What? That. That's kind of cursed, isn't it? Is it because is it because Soren's racist? No, it's because that Soren is both a Barok and a Laguz. Oh. Branded, just like Micaiah. <laughs> that doesn't sound based at all. It sounds uh, like a hot take, more than anything. Basically, that, guy, that, guy, that guy's being a pussy. <laughs> Cursed, not gonna lie. Look it up. You know, I don't. Th I don't know if I want to. <laughs> don't, don't. I've seen some weird shipping art in my life. I don't need another one. <laughs> A shitty better, hot take. You know, it's better not to think about it. I'll stick with my Nephany Heather fan art instead, I guess. It's better this way. <laughs> Ban Zeppi is best. <laughs> no, Zeppi is fun. Well, this guy's got some humor, I'll give him that. <laughs> Fuck you, lol. Oh shit! You really want to go there? Look at that! Look at the, these guys. They're surrounding Nephany. I don't think I'll ever make it. I need more removes. New more ribs removed. The fuck me. Yeah, we got it. We got a funny guy in chat. <laughs> Yeah, use the bow on Nephany, just not my bird units. Yeah, how many ribs do you need? You're having a whole buffet of ribs over there, man. You want you want you wanna you wanna get the Mick rib? Yeah, definitely the Mick rib. <laughs> the Mick rib. At least Leith is doing a better job than that that stray cat outside. <laughs> yeah, responding to chat is good. Hey, at least you're more active than most of my chat members, so I'll give you that. Either this night is really fucking short, or the tiger is just really fucking big. Yeah, the tiger is really huge. Big boy. Hey, there's the quad sword. It's now or never. Bye, bye, bowgun guy. My favorite character, bowgun. Is there anybody else who's dangerous? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I'm gonna see if I can open my window. Got another item. Damn. 
Damn, that guy just got fucking hit with a meteor. I knew that meteor was in good use. Now it's time to kill that guy. Dude, I literally open my window and the first thing I hear is fucking sirens. Why has that always gotta happen? You tell the sirens, not me. Fuck you, sirens. <laughs> it sounds like a tra- actually, that sounds like a trailer park boys quote. It's like, fuck you, Cyrus. Not bad. Not bad. I don't know, he look he kinda just looks like a clown lady. Why would he, you say that? He's got like a clown outfit going on. <laughs> oh nice, you got a you got a healer. Oh, Not really. Healer. She's supposed to be a noble woman. I don't, know, she what, I don't know what that is. Dab. Well there well there are more things that you have to learn, Jacob, because I can't help you. Yeah, it's like Midnight says, there is much yet you have to learn. Actually, that's not how the quote goes. Whatever. You're terrible. You have much yet to learn. You actually kind of got it right. There you go, I got it right the second time. <laughs> Don't tell what a noble woman is. I don't get to know what a noble woman is. Is it a woman that's noble? Oh yes, that, that cold air is much better. You know, I may do an- I, it's really tempting to do another infinite pit run tonight, but I might be too tired after this. It's likely that you are going to be tired. I mean, I did do three recordings today, so that's good enough. And I want to play- I want to play, um, Ninja Gaiden tomorrow. Ah. Man, I gotta think like a ninja. Actually, now I just re now I just remember when I play Ninja Guy in tomorrow, I have to play the fucking Rachel stage again. <laughs> My God, there's so many units. There's so many guys. That is a kill. Good, that good, is good. We needed that crit. Oh no! No! Ouch! Ouch. <laughs> Kitty. I'm in a terrible situation. Hey, I'll be fine. No, I won't. All right, she still does the healing thing. Jacob, my flyers are in danger. I literally can't do anything. Well, it looks like somebody has not picked up that cat yet. I still hear it outside. I'm closing my window. <laughs> I really just wish I had a better AC in my room. Well, it was fun having cold air for the few seconds that it lasted. That's nice. Can't wait till winter time goes around again. <laughs> I mean, you'll you'll have fun with the snow, I guess. I'll have fun not sweating my balls off. <laughs> That's sometimes for sure. you're sometimes you're gross. Nah, man, it's just a figure of speech. <laughs> There goes another 
STL Great Lance. <laughs> Teal Great Lance, you mean? Uh, STL Great Lance. <laughs> well, like STDs. <laughs> STDs Great Lance. <laughs> Hmm. Yep, I'm backing out. Hey, I'll go and stand outside for a little while after this. I mean, I think I've already liked most of the Nefmini art on as it is. Most of it. Why most? There's there's probably some I haven't come across. Mm -hmm. Ha, you missed. Oh, I missed. Wow, perfect damage. That's all I needed. Guess what I needed? I knew you were about to say that. <laughs> Roar. Hmm, I have a better idea. <laughs> Meteor again. Yeah, yeah fuck, but you, fuck you in particular, bow guy. No, not Meteor. What would I well, say? It's the exact same sound from Path of Radiance. Well, at least I put the Meteor into some good use. Well, I definitely did get a good use. Great to see Luann's getting some good use to. Just like uh, the Calabunga guy from part one. It. Uh, Jacob, can you hear me? Yeah, why? Thank God. <laughs> Did you drop your mic on yourself again? <laughs> no. My internet just lagged. Oh. Hey, when that happens. One of these days I will get Ethernet. But the problem is that it's in the living room, and it's possible that somebody might trip on it. Oh yeah, I hate for that to happen. Good to see Braum is holding the fort, quite literally. That guy all the way up there just spamming, bolting, I think that is. Yeah, it's bolting. I and mean, what else move would hit from that far away? I mean, there's Blizzard, and that's a different spell altogether. It is clarified as wind magic. Wait, Blizzard is wind magic? Yeah, I mean, in context, it makes sense if you think about it. I guess. <laughs> I guess, to be fair, there's no ice magic, right? Oh, there... Oh, there will be. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Could've just killed. Eh, tomorrow will be nice. It's gonna be 16 degrees tomorrow, so... It'll be... I'll have a nice colder day. That blizzard is wind. That is weird. <laughs> In my mind, that makes no sense, because Blizzard should be ice, <laughs> but there is not really any. There's not a lot of ice magic. Like, I guess it's like the cold air from the Blizzard that's making it considered wind magic. Jacob, there is... <laughs> J 
Jacob, the blizzard and and the winds are are in are in relations of of it, it really depends on the temperature mm. of Jacob, I, Jacob, you just you you should understand my point of what I'm trying to say. I might get it. Mm. No, unfortunately, I can't rush. Yeah, that's too bad. Hey, there's the energy. Finally! Drop. Finally! Is there any more units I have to worry about? I don't know. I'll tell you every day. Yeah, not again. <laughs> what? There's another boat guy? A crossbow. Yeah, that's what I said. Bow guy. Who cares? Put my mic over here. There we go. Yes. Hey, nice crit, Nephany. And a good level up too. That's what I'm talking about. That's why he's the goat. Goated. Here comes Grandpa. I was literally, I was literally trying to mimic the voice of the parrot from Metal Gear Solid <laughs> Three. I forgot all about that. <laughs> Grandpa. Grandpa. Yeah. Do you have that on the soundboard? No, I don't have that. Sadly, I want to put it on though. Instead, we have Shrek saying, "I don't know." <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Can you play it? <laughs> I don't know. Actually, wait, I got an idea. If I joined on my phone, could I do it then? I would like to think so. Mm. I'm not sure, actually. It doesn't look like it works. <laughs> oh, she's in trouble. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, that's why he's the go. That's the sound I'm talking about. That's the one I want to add. Eh, yeah, fuck it. I'm just gonna lay all stream because I'm. I just feel like laying back and relaxing. This is not gonna go well. That's why he's the goat. Ooh, we got Nephany in a beach outfit. You don't say. I wonder why Breastplate is a popular tag. What's that? You know how, like, some female soldiers, they wear, like, a, a plate over their chest. Yeah, what that's about a, it? That's a breastplate. And that's a, apparently a popular tag on Pixiv. <laughs> Again, I find out about all kinds of new tags on Pixiv, like, every other day. Maybe I should start documenting all of the weird ones that I find. I think I can save her. I'm 
mean, Bewitching Thighs is a pretty popular one, but I'm not even surprised about that one anymore. <laughs> I've done that one for like a year. I am honestly scared of this turn. Pretty rough. Good save. Maybe not. I'm sure she'll be fine. Well, can't use the quad sword because she's out range. Man, these are the longest 15 turns ever. Makes Mario Party games look quick. Jacob, I never cared about Mario Party that much. Yeah, I know. You, if... you, you prefer D Party. <laughs> Just a little. Ooh, nice dodge. That could have been bad, honestly. Okay, yeah, her model makes her look a little bit less like a clown. <laughs> and she got a good level up, apparently. Hell yeah. Uh-oh. Ooh, oh. you got you got really lucky there. Considering that she can quad, yeah, she'll be she'll she'll be fine. Oh no, that yellow guy is gonna die. Whatever will I do? Why didn't she heal us too? We're only on turn six. Oh my god. Well, I mean, you're also trying to get to the boss too, to be fair. Yeah, never mind. This is, this is gonna take a while. He's a fire sage and uses thunder tomes. Fake mage. Jacob, I am in very bad situations. Everybody is. I am literally outnumbered. I mean, isn't that the point? Yeah. But this is just too much. This might might as well be my best option. Welcome to Fire Emblem Conquest Chapter 10. Whatever that means. <laughs> oh, I think I get what he's talking about. Marcy Enemy... leveling up. Enemies spawn left and right on that chapter. Oh no. And apparently people love that chapter for some reason. I guess I'll be the judge of that whenever Zeppi plays it. Well, I'm playing Conquest. No, you're playing Garen Quest. <laughs> it literally has the same maps. Shit. <laughs> well, Garen Quest is better. Yeah, obviously. D
Turn up and do it. I'm oh, doing revel I'm doing revelations, not conquest. Oh, okay. I forgot, to be honest. You always foregored. Yeah, I foregore. Not gonna lie, I don't know if we'll get to do Ike's chapter tonight because of how long this one's taking. Because there's so many enemies. Yeah. So I'm kind of- I'm really glad we saved- we split this up into two episodes. Because we would've- this would- it would've been like a four-hour stream. And guess what? I didn't even end up playing MGS2 last night, so... My time was yeah. wasted again. Wow, that's not a surprise. Yeah. Damn it, she gets doubled? That's bad. But tomorrow, he said he might be able to, so I'll give him another chance. And if not, I'm doing Infinite Pit again. <laughs> because as far as I know, I'm not really doing much tomorrow. Like, I'm gonna do Ninja Guy in the morning, I might do MGS2, and I'm gonna see if Desmond wants to play Terraria. Ooh, nice save. Hey, at least your healers are helping out. What do they oh. have? What is that? What is that? What is the heal that hits from like all the way across the map again? What do you mean? Is that like physic. is that is that physic or something? Yeah. Oh god. Dang, your guy got poisoned. That nice try. You can't hit ground, huh? He's gonna get doubled. I'm sure of it. Oh, that's bad. Well, he's got a good level up. Jacob, I don't think that level up will be enough. Dang. He's gonna die. <laughs> no, not Yellow Knight number 55. He just, keeps, he just keeps trying to go and keeps fucking missing because he's stupid. Yep, Mordecai, he's dead. <laughs> Mordecai punched the general. Oh, uh, yep, he's dead. He is not what? surviving. What, because he gets doubled? Yes. No, he dodged. Okay, that was lucky. That was pure luck. <laughs> Definitely save after that. <laughs> Yeah, he got really lucky there. Holy shit. That 70% hit rate really came in clutch. Yeah, you gotta get you gotta get Mordecai the hell out of there. Dink.
Honestly, I think the only unit that's extremely useful in this chapter is probably Alencia. Yeah, she's basically the Ike of this chapter. She's just gonna carry the whole team. Well, it's like Alencia. It's like Ike in the final chapter against Ashtar, where he's like the only one that can really damage him. Yeah. Pretty much. Well, Ike to Barn. Uh, and like, kind of, um, I forgot the dragon lady's name. Anna? Yeah, Anna. She can damage Ashnard just a tiny bit. I literally used Wrath. Yeah, that also helps. I still find it really funny how there's just a shit ton of dialogue for people fighting Ashnard. Yet yeah, they can't even damage Ashtar, so they're not. They, you, you don't want to even fight him with them. Wow, I've never seen a general live a thunder before. I'm surprised that the general really. Really tanky. Yeah, he's very tanky. Yeah, see, now, now I remember why I, st I gave up on Shadow Dragon towards the end, because... Like, the chapters just got way too long for me. And why is that? Well, now that I know that Fire Emblem chapters typically can get pretty long, I don't mind it too much. <laughs> you didn't really didn't mind that much? Well, I don't mind now, because I'm used to chapters taking, like, 30, 40, 50, 60 minutes, you know? I getcha. They can take time. Alright, Grandpa, you can take you can do it. Take down this bow guy. Seeing Grandpa got a Discord notification. Go on him. You got a notification, didn't you? No, Grandpa did. Grandpa got a notification. Sometimes you're funny. <laughs> Only sometimes. Oh, yep. that, that poisoned guy is still there. Hey! That was a nice save, I will say that much. Still Lincia, too. Another good save. Okay, there goes another rebel. Well, at least you're making some progress. Ooh, nice kill. Wait, Nephany didn't gain any experience? She did. Oh, she didn't level up yet, though. <laughs> Uh, real, real fair longbow user. Damn, nice double. Oh, and there goes that guy. There they are! Hey! Your Majesty, we'll countercharge their flank. The Royal Knights will succeed again. Indomitable knights of Crimea, this is this is the hour you you have trained for. Hold the line and run, run them down. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, oh Jeffrey! Find Ludwig, Duke of Phil Philrain, and seize him immediately. We must not. He must not escape. What a bother. 
They arrived far faster than I expected. That was faster than you expected? Okay. But I will prevail. I won't lose to that worthless queen. Faster than you expected. That took fucking forever, bro. What do you mean? Thank goodness I have a hammer. Ooh. Now this is where... Now this is where things start to get real. <laughs> Finally, something interesting happened. There's Dev Dan. The goat and, and Astrid's there too. He's got a lot of... Oh shit, he can quad as well? With the Brave Lance, yes. Wow. He almost could have done perfect damage. Would have been sick. See, if he didn't do quad damage, that wouldn't have killed. Okay, defense, that's... That's a pass. <laughs> Smash or pass? <laughs> Smash or pass? Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn Edition. Honestly, I'll let that slide because at least he got defense. Yeah. Well, in the Smasher Pass list, uh, Braum is definitely a Smash. Obviously. Devdan, Smash. Ooh, support. Nice. Uh, Nephany, Smash. Obviously. Astrid, pass. Why pass Astrid? Kieran, pass. Jeffrey, smash. Marcia, approved. Heather, also smash. Even though she's a le she's a lesbian. Yeah. Um... Critical. Damn! <laughs> nice. Imagine if she got another crit. <laughs> that would be like the most unnecessary crit in history. Unnecessary? Yes. But awesome? I'd say yes. <laughs> um, Alincia, smash. Venom Snake, also smash. Grandpa, pass. Because he poops so hot? Because <laughs> he shits himself. Khalil, pass. He looks too much like a clown. Uh, Leanne, Smash. Why Leanne? Because, uh, you know, she's got that whole, like, blonde, you know, angel -like look going on, you know? Even though she is a bird. Doesn't stop people. Doesn't stop people, you know? I understand that. <laughs> Leith, Smash. Mordecai, also smash. If she really was an angel, she wouldn't. She wouldn't <laughs> even transform. <laughs> what? You want me to shut up already, Zeppy? Come on, I was having fun. I gotta entertain myself somehow. Are you not entertained? Well, I don't know. Fifteen turns of units going at each other. Kind of boring. <laughs> There's only yeah. so much you can do with a defense chapter like this. It just kind of drags on, you know? I understand. Yeah. Well, I think I'm done. I think I'm done this Master Pat. Wait, wait, wait. I forgot about the most important unit. What? Door, Smash, and Wall. <laughs> also, Smash. <laughs> Wall. <laughs> Wall. 
Great. Can't forget about wall and door, the best units. Definitely. Oh, Grandpa's not transformed anymore. Dang it. Well, I think that's all the units, right? For now. Yeah, for now. The door is already smashed, literally. See, I mean, that's just that just makes it canon that door is door is waifu material, you know. You're stupid. <laughs> yeah, go, Katie. Jay, you feel like. I think you had too many drugs in this stream. I have had no drugs, bro. You definitely had drugs. No. Yes. No. <laughs> can't wait for... Can't wait for Chris Waifu Hunter to make a new video on the door from Radiant Dawn Section 2 Endgame. Yeah, that'll be the title then. <laughs> yeah, your very smelly title. Yeah, door is waifu material. Come on, crit. Hope. Come on, Astra. That's the one time you could have been useful. Go back. <laughs> Go walk down the path of shame. Dev Dan's gonna finish what you couldn't. He's gonna finish what you started. And bye. See, he got a crit. What's your excuse, Astrid? <laughs> and he got a good level up, too. By getting a good level up like that. Exactly, Dev Dan's the goat. Or sorry, Danvid. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some cold air. Okay, you do that. How about a barrage of attacks? Why better? Just got some cold air. You really enjoy cold air, huh? 
too hot in here, bro. Well, it's cold in my room. Yeah, I envy. <laughs> when you have a PC as hot as mine running all, like, all day, it gets pretty hot in there. <laughs> Jacob, let me tell you something. The cold literally bothers my nerves. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. <laughs> the hot bothers my nerves. <laughs> Well, what's your point? Well, we have the opposite problems. <laughs> Just like that? Oh, rip that guy. <laughs> yep. They are going on the other side. I think this is where the downfall happens. I mean, you're getting closer to the boss. Yeah, this section definitely drags. There we go. We needed that crit. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, there's no way we would have done Ike's chapter today. But hey, that's how we have something to look forward to next time, at least. I am looking forward to this. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this. You mean I've been waiting for this? Nah, it's, it, nah, Akihiko got a new line. He said, I've been looking forward to this. You're insane. You're so weird. <laughs> Only you had that on your soundboard. Yeah, I might have to send me a link to it then. <laughs> Fine. Unless I can find it. Let me see. <laughs> Fuka, you're so weird. <laughs> no, when I when I do that, it just pops up with the fucking Fuka puppet video. <laughs> the Fuka puppet. Why does the Fuka puppet video pop up when I search that? That's pretty funny, honestly. I love that video. Same. Where Fuga just pops up, she's like... <gasps> this is not good. Not good. Now poison will never be the problem. <laughs> Finally. Well, I can finally look at my keyboard again. Uh oh! I, don't know. I realized something. What? I am literally putting Venom Snake in danger. Uh oh. I can't even reach! Bird. Come on, Grandpa. Well, at least Grandpa's cooking for now. Nice. He's dead. <laughs> Makes sense. She already she gets more speed. Ooh, maybe I have an idea. I mean, she might be fine. The 
Hell Thunder guy. Ooh. Go oh, I miss. Okay. Not sure what the play here is exactly, but I'm just here to watch and enjoy the ride. The what? The the pat that radiant dawn ride. <laughs> okay. We're almost done, by the way. Ah, oh, finally. I'm just seeing if there's any interesting news. Atlas announces new Persona plushies. Oh, how nice. You can buy you can buy Igus and Dorkun. <laughs> no. Well. That's not good. <laughs> you think that guy's hit rate so garbage? Yeah, I can just double. Some games are up for pre-order, don't really care. Apparently someone's trying to put Minecraft on GameCube. What? <laughs> How are the hell that's gonna work? That'd be pretty funny, I'd love to play that port. Same. <laughs> Minecraft GameCube edition. There's also going to be a port for Dreamcast, too. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Minecraft on Dreamcast. The day's upon us. A day that'll stand proudly in the history of Crimea. Today a weak queen falls, and a new king reveils. Okay, we don't care. <laughs> he just did that just so he can be an asshole. He just, he just wanted to be an asshole. He's an asshole! Where's, where is that on my soundboard? He's an asshole! <laughs> Ding. At this point, I am running out of spears. And I'm also running out of things to say. <laughs> There's only so much you can comment on for one, uh, one chapter. Sent some spicy art, literally. Ooh, I want to see spicy art. Hector's daughter? Ooh, I like what I'm seeing. Ain't her name, uh, Lelina or something? So I seen her on Pixiv, and I was wondering, like, why does he look so similar to, like, Erica or Sita. Hmm. Okay. I could. Jacob, I could actually end this. <laughs> you just say fuck the chapter and kill him? Yeah. Because this chapter has been going on for too long. That's what I'm saying, bro. The ending of chapter one was also too long. This could help. That's enough to include Vic. You have no chance in victory. The royal knights are here, and we... And we have our queen to lead us. <laughs> it's the valiant Jeffrey. I assume, General, that you have yet to hear about Lady Lucia. Lucia, what happened? Well, I could tell you, but what would that gain me? Now, if you were to turn on the queen... <laughs> turn on the queen. And grovel at my feet, I might consider telling you. How dare you, you rotten! 
piece of shit. <laughs> Die, you piece of shit. <laughs> Die, you little shit. Okay, Jacob, this will be... This will be enough. We get to hear that banger music again. I'm gonna end this chapter right now, Jacob. Let's go. Pet talk? <laughs> you can talk to him? Queen Alencia. Ludwig. Looking quite gallant, aren't we? I thought you would be surely fleeing by now, or pleading for your life. I must commend you on your unexpected bravery. I am the ruler of Crimea. I will not abandon that role. Uh, I see. Self-sacrifice, is it? How very honorable of you. By the way, Your Majesty, Lady Lucy is often in your company. Wherever could she have gone to? Where is she? Tell me she's safe! Tell me now! Oh my, you look pale. You two grew up like sisters. You must be worried then. Heh, <laughs> yet another facet of your weakness. Well, Jacob, this chapter is over. Get to jam out to this music. Yeah. Hey, Jacob, I could literally end this chapter anytime I want. <laughs> I will end this world right now. Hey, she got a level up. And good level up, too. Alencia, I yield to me. I yield to you. Please. You may imprison me. Your Majesty, be merciful. Spare our lives. We surrender our weapons. You got the tomahawk. You did it. Finally, and it took like what? <laughs> like an hour. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh. Queen Alincia, I'm glad you're safe. Please forgive my tardiness. I've let you down. I'm sorry. Ridiculous. You did no such thing, Jeffrey. Thank you so much. So what of the rebel army? Without Ludwig at the helm. They are a mess. They're ruining about trying to escape. Commanded. We are not pursue, pursue fleeing soldiers. And Lord Ludwig is locked up in the dungeon. <laughs> Queen Alencia? Lucia's held captive. If we were to save her, we need to talk to him. Your Majesty, General, we've received a missive. It concerns Lady Lucia. Queen of Crimea, we demand that you release the Duke Nukem of Chick-fil-A. Refuse, and Lady Lucia will die. All right, Jacob. This is the moment that we've been waiting for. This is the scene where Shen shows up? Yes. Oh, I can't wait. I'll be right back, Jacob. All right. So, Jacob, were you mixed about the map of the chapter of its gameplay? So far, I've hated both endgames. Yeah. They're too but long. You gotta, but you gotta admit, Jacob, that, that chapter was really scary. I've, yeah, you got lucky. Uh, I appreciate yeah, I, the sauce, Deppy. I could have lost so many units on this chapter. More you, you almost died, dude. You want to know what the problem with that chapter was? What? I was literally overwhelmed. Now imagine that on hard mode. <laughs> that would be even worse, Jacob. All of my units would have died. And Maniac mode. I wish I could play Maniac mode since I heard... That version of Maniac Mode is the worst one. <laughs> yeah, there are there are many changes to Maniac Mode. Like how, like what else could Hard Mode could offer in this game? It's all Hard Mode in this game is already horrible. <laughs> and that was even more horrible. But somehow the Japanese version managed to make it even worse. Where is that sound anyway? So and that was even more Just be thankful that I choose easy mode. Well, you picked normal, I'm pretty sure. No, it was easy mode. <laughs> eh? Easy mode, though? How lame. No! 
Lucia. You have a half a mark. If the Duke Nukem is not released by then, the girl dies. Hey, Jack, you know what this game would remind you of difficulty-wise? What? Persona 3 FES. Ah, uh, have fun. Yeah, because you already know how tough Persona 3 FES is. Not really. I played on easy, so I, I actually don't know. <laughs> even on Jacob, even on easy mode, you are still gonna have a hard time, mostly because you will get tired in the dungeon. Yeah, yeah I did experience that, and I had to, I did have to grind for next avatar in that game. In this game, this this game is no pushover, even on easy mode. Mm -hmm. Your units will die. You will die. Live with it. Queen Alencia, don't listen to them. Don't worry about me. There's a short hair. If I'm gonna be honest with you, Jacob, the short hair Lucia has looks really more natural than her long hair. I guess. When you th when you think about it. All right, on my way to find some sauce of that. Lucia's long hair kind of felt out of place. If I'm gonna be honest. Quiet, you could die sooner if you like. Oh. Your Majesty, you can't. You have to let me do something about this. Lucia, I mean, Lucia would, would be willing, willingly to die f fighting for her country, I know. But you have to help her. Elencia, if you were to let me into her position, she would surely do the same thing. Please, just give me the word. Hello, your majesty. By the look on your face, I can see my plan has been a success. What exactly do you want? To throw our, con our country into chaos? No, I want to protect it, your majesty. What? Queen Alencia, you're so naive. Cold and callous decisions are sometimes required of a nation's ruler. I was testing you. We all wanted to know if our queen would have the power to stop a civil war. But no, you were too hesitant and too concerned about harming the people. Now look what's happened. The rule of Crimea cannot be kept in your hands. Please, your majesty. You must abdicate and cede the crown to me. And considering Lady Lucia's life's on the line, you haven't much choice. Now, let's have you free me from this prison cell, and then we can discuss any further details. I don't think so. What? Are you trying to... Are you truly willing to sacrifice Lady Lucia? Lord Ludwig... All your dissatisfactions and misgivings about me are well fun founded. However, do you realize how many lives you've simply thrown away? Without strength, compassion, that does not make a fine ruler to make. You care nothing for the people, sir. You cloak your desire to rule with such petty schemes. But it is really petty really petty of <sighs> av avarice <laughs> whatever that word means I don't know nonetheless so this is how it should be very well but Lady Lucia cannot be spared without my order allowing you to plant the seeds of rebellion and play havoc with the lives of my people is a failure for which I must answer. But I will see Crimea through this trial. I will give my people the future they deserve, no matter the cost. <laughs> ah, well played, your majesty. Indeed, I failed. Yet I wonder, are you capable of watching Lucia die? Or you'll crawl back to me, your face awash with tears, begging for mercy. How may I pray to see that face, your majesty? 
All right, Jacob, cutscene time. Here we go. Maybe not yet. Give it a bit. Rebel soldiers, hear me. Ludwig of the Koopalings have consp conspired against the nation will stand that trial. As the queen and ruler of Crimea, I refuse to negotiate with those bent on destroying it. So you're gonna let this girl die? Ha! <laughs> I will be strong, Lucia. <laughs> Kick, scream, and beg. Give us a show, wench. Your Highness, your trusted friend will now die. Let this burn forever in your memory. People of Crimea, behold, a true queen, your queen. Long live Queen, queen Lucia. You mean Queen Lincia. <laughs> you know what, sure, Queen Lucia? Queen Lucia. Oh, here we go. Here's the cutscene. Queen Lucia, I literally... Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm turning this up. Okay. Alright, Jacob, this will be the most hyped moment you've ever seen. Yeah. Tree. Come on, do it. It's a clean shot. Clean shot. What's the problem? I'm nervous. What have I hit? It's too late for nerves. If you're not up to it, just leave it to the master. Watch and learn. One clean motion. No hesitation. Yeah. All right, Jacob. Here it is. Ike. Oh my God, it's Ike. Bike. Yes! Oh shit! Guess who's back? Bike! Soren! Soren! My man! Mia! Mia! And she sounds more mature than last game. Guess who's here? Titania! Tit Mommy! Mommy is back! Boyd! Boyd! And Oscar! I'm surprised you remembered Oscar. How can I forget Oscar? Gatry! Gatry! I don't really care about Gatry, but he's here too. <laughs> and there's Mist. Mist. And and Briz. <laughs> but you call him Roger for some reason. Or Rog I'm gonna keep calling him Roger. <laughs> the echo's a problem. Yeah, blame Jose's mic for that. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Jacob, what are you talking about? Well, because I'm assuming you're you're playing the audio from your speakers, so it echoes into your mic. But I'll let it slide. Fine. If only I, could, if only if I could some way move my microphone farther away. From the audio, at least. Hmm. I don't know. That's kind of a hard one. Because I, I used to deal... I used to have that problem, too. Because I used to play audio from my speakers as well. So and... would you rather listen to me on the phone, or... Hmm. I mean... Because you have noise suppression on, right? No. <laughs> what do you mean, No. I mean, yeah, I do have noise suppression, but I'm sure. Yeah. 
there's only so much you can do then, really. Well, yeah, I guess. I could have just muted my microphone. But then again, it wouldn't be that fun. Yeah. Yeah, so whatever. Me... Okay. Well, let's just move on to forget about that. Yeah, because that cutscene was hype as hell. I, I, I don't... I didn't even know about half of that. I just knew that Shannon shot the arrow at the rope. That's the only thing I knew about that cussing. I didn't know Ike was there. That was it. That was crazy. And you didn't even know that the rest of the Grail mercenaries would be there. Yeah, I did not know that. I just know Shannon was there. That's the only thing I knew. Well, be glad that I didn't told told you when Mia will be here. I'm glad I didn't get spoiled on that. That was a even good though. Reveal. I mean, Jacob, you should already know that me. You should already know that Mia was going to be in the Grail Mercenaries, after all. Yep. He's a big simp for Ike. I mean, who wouldn't be? <laughs> Anyways. Queen Alencia. It's Sir Ike and the Grail Mercenaries. Come to our aid. Now, we'll get Lucia back in one piece. We've got nothing more to worry about. I'll deploy my knights at once. It looks like she's gonna cry. Oh damn, look at him. Right? Look at how swole he is now. Wasn't he always swole? He's swoller. Sir Ike, if you hadn't come to help, I would have lost one of my dearest friends. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're happy to do it. And Bastion pays well for mercenary work. Bastion? Yeah. Count of Fair knew about Ludwig's plotting before he left for Dane. Bastion guessed that if he left the country, the rebels would be feel confident enough to make their move. What else could you expect from Crimea's top tactician? Well, Crimea's most deceptible dog at any rate. Yes, that's just like him. Sorry that we had to stay hidden until the last minute. For a ruse like that to work, you have to be... You have to deceive allies as well as enemies. I know you were acting in Crimea's best interests, but I'm sorry you had to let that happen, Lucia. No. It worked out just fine in the end. Please, put it out of your mind. Lucia, Jeffrey... I value your lives more than any of even my own. <laughs> Ike doesn't have Ragnall yet, makes mate. This is beta Ike. <laughs> but he will get Ragnall eventually, somewhere in the middle of section three. What did he lose it or something? What is he stupid? <laughs> no, I don't think. No, he probably saved it somewhere. But it is my duty to protect this country, even if that means losing you. I've learned all... I, I've learned a lot from this. Even all of what happened in Path of Radiance. I hope to keep them out of harm's way, and I'll never make the same mistake again. Good to hear. So what are you gonna do about all these Gate Rebel soldiers? The Rebel army will be eradicated. We cannot allow them to sow the seeds of discontent among the people of Crimea. That's the right choice. Would you consider contracting my mercenaries for the job? You know, Jacob, I literally get this feeling that Elintia learned so much from Mike. I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> that is literally great development. She... I mean, the only reason why this makes sense is because she literally idolized Ike. Yeah, I mean, the <laughs> Ike and Lindsay had three years of time, so it makes sense. But even with three years to rule a country, she is still new to this. She's a noob. <laughs> no, Sir Ike. I'll leave that up to the Royal Knights. I'm certain that this task will create anger among the people, 
and the royal knights may be resented to, to their role in it, but my duty as queen demands that it must be done. The people will have to learn to accept that. I respect your devotion to duty. So you don't need me then? That's right. I'm going to move on together. My vassal and the people of this country. I'm so happy for Alintia's growth. Sir Ike, before you leave, there's something that I'd like that I'd like to talk to you about. What is it? When you heard from Bastian, did he say anything about Dane? Nah, nothing. He informed me of the number of things. Apparently Dane's reconstruction is playing out much like Crimea's. He spoke of a new king rising the banner of war and a charis charismatic hero carrying it into battle. He compared ki King Akechi to me and a, silver and a silver haired maiden to you. It is almost unnatural. He suspects that someone might be scheming, trying to manipulate Dane. Bastion seemed quite suspicious of it after all. So Bastion went to Dane to try and confirm his suspicions on that? Yes. There's also something about Dane's re resurrection that we cannot afford to overlook. The Black Knight. What? There he is. I'll never forget him. He was one of the warriors who the late King Ashnar trusted and ceased in pitch black armor, standing tall with a crimson, crimson cape. But the Liberation Army fought at the capital. He was there. He sided with the silver haired maiden. Doesn't matter what game the Black Knight's in, he'll always be cool. True. Black Knight, the man who killed my father. But I defeated him three years ago. I'm sure of it. Only in my Maniac mode run. <laughs> Only in Maniac. So the Maniac mode playthrough's canon. At the very least, he couldn't have escaped when Nato's castle came crashing down on him. The day after you fought, Bastion ordered some men to search the remains of Nato's castle. There was no trace of the Black Knight. No armor, no sword, no co no corpse. Well, it makes a lot more sense now, doesn't it? Yeah, he can literally warp. If the Black Knight that was seen in Dane was indeed the same Black Knight, he might prove to be a threat to Crimea. Nah, man, he's a homie. What do you mean? Hmm. If he's still alive, I have no doubt I'll see him again. Well, yeah, I mean... <laughs> he has good taste with Micaiah. <laughs> yeah, he likes Micaiah. He's got good taste in women, honestly. Valencia, this is very important information for me. Thank you. Of course. Yeah, I'm just I'm just kind of doing the Ike voice from uh, Engage. He's like, I'm Ike. <laughs> Section two, the end. Hey, look, it's it's an interesting maneuver. <laughs> One that threatens to tear the land asunder. A hero sides with the Lagoons and justice. The Maiden of Dawn fights for the beast. Akaya the Waifu. Day. Their armies will collide while the flames of the medallion burn. An interesting life. maneuver. Part three, intersecting bows. Ooh. All right, Jacob. I can't wait this... for that one. All right, Jacob. This will be, this will be one of the one of the best sections ever made. This we is, are. This, this is when the game actually starts. Gotcha. <laughs> yep. This this is where things start to get interesting. It took us over fourteen hours to actually get to the good part of this game. Oh, we. Oh, that's true. The fight well, has I'll... just begun. I want to see now. This fourteen forty one. I want to see this. I want to see the starting cutscene. This is where the real action begins. We're halfway Finally, through the game now. We are. Kind of. Three years ago, Crimea freed itself from Dane tyranny. 
Its nobles used that freedom. Because section two is really short, and section one is just kind of eh. Disgusted with their greed and hey, the third section, hey, there they are. The third section is the longest of all. But if I'm going to be honest with you, Jacob, in my opinion, I think I think Radiant Dawn is more hyped than Path of Radiance, in my opinion. Section three is kind of just like a mini Path of Radiance, kind of thrown into the middle of the game. Yeah, you could say that. That's why I said that, in my opinion, Radiant Dawn is better than Path of Radiance. Heavy over Ike as he leads the mercenary group back to their headquarters. All right. Hey, there's the fort, the iconic fort. Wow, how long has it been since we are here? Here feels great to be home. Yeah, we've been away for too long. Dealing with Crimean nobles always seems to take longer than it should. At least now we can finally get some rest. Still, it was nice to be needed, don't you think? Especially for a band of mercenaries as poor as we are. You know, Ike, if you hadn't renounced your lordship, we wouldn't have to run around like this to support ourselves. Missed, I. Oh, I know. I'm just teasing you, silly. Besides, I'd rather spend my time helping people. Who wants to live like some outstuffed noble anyway? Definitely not me. We have Father's legacy to look after as well. The Grail mercenaries. Ike, the visitor to see you. Visitor? Who is it? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I gotta remember how to do my Ranulf voice. Long time no see, Ike. I've been looking all over Crimea for you. You're never home. Randolph, how are you, my old friend? How's everyone in Gallia? Uh, Lion King, well. Everyone's doing great. We the goose don't take ill too easily. Say it's hard not being new well. Seeing you again brings back memories. We couldn't have won the war if not for Gallia's aid. And yours especially. See how that? you do get to take a break. Now I'm voicing all the characters. <laughs> well, same goes for you. Jacob, I literally voiced uh I literally voiced uh Elin literally Elincia, Jeffrey, and freaking And Lucia and Braum and Nephany. <laughs> yeah, basically almost the entire the entire Crimea family. Yeah, and now I'm voicing all of the Grail mercenaries, because that's how it was in, when me and Zeppi played Path of Radiance. I had to voice all the characters until you came along. So that's I voiced, true. I voiced like, all of the early game characters. <laughs> I mean, that's true. Well, oh wait, I think I... Did I read that already? No, I, I don't oh, think so. Okay. Well, same goes for you. Who knows where Gali would be if not for Ike and the Grail mercenaries? Speaking of old friends, I saw Princess Luann in the Crimean Royal Court. Apparently, she's been looking for me, too. She said, please save my brothers. You know what she's talking about? Oh, I say she's dead. Let me get straight to the point, Ike. I have some bad news. War's come to us again. What? The Goose Alliance, which is made up of Gallia... Venicus and Kilvis is setting out against Benyon. Situations escalate very quickly. Escalated seems a bit soft. I know there are problems between the Goose and Benyon, but I thought things were getting better. Raphael, the eldest son of the Herons, brought back some disturbing news from Dane. He had learned that Benyon Senator Armstrong ordered the Herons' extermination, mate. This spurred the Goose to strike against Benyon. That's why I need to look for you, Ike. We need your help. Ooh. The map. The eldest prince of the Heron clan. Tomato Man, Cowabunga, and Wolf Mommy. And the mage Tormod to tell the dying. Why did you call her Wolf Mommy, though? The what else am I supposed to call her? I don't know. <laughs> Lagoons. After all, she is kind of buffed. After all. Well, you know, I like me. I like my buff women. The Serenus Forest. 
that murder and the catastrophe. <laughs> His were face, like, <laughs> Ashnard. <laughs> the guy that loves milk and family guy. <laughs> yeah, a little too much. Reveals that those directly responsible. I am dead, but I'm still. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell are these people? I forgot about those guys. Upon hearing this tale, Ooh, the, the barn. Hey, it's Captain consumed. Falcon. Dude, he looks even more awesome in this game. He That's true. Nutella. Nutella. And the Lion King. <laughs> and the Beast King, Canegus. And they you know, Jacob, the I've never been this hype. Together with the ever since we family, ever since we played Path of Radiance, since we know them. Dude, it's only been a few months, but I feel like I haven't seen them in years. Ben <laughs> So are you getting this feeling that this game is nostalgic to you? I mean, yeah. Path of Radiance? Yep. That's understandable. <laughs> He's fucking center, guys. They look like Mario and Luigi. <laughs> Have you played New Super Mario Bros. 2? Yes. Golden Luigi and Silver Luigi. That's what their hairs look like. Golden Luigi and Silver Luigi? <laughs> did you say Golden Luigi and Silver Luigi? <laughs> no, you did. You said Golden Luigi and Silver Luigi. <laughs> I meant to say Golden Mario. <laughs> golden Luigi. <laughs> There's no such thing as a Golden Luigi, Jacob. Yeah. You know what? Let me find it. And is at first reluctant to become involved Dark in the Luigi. conflict. Yet, when he considers the center, <laughs> it was only a go All I found messenger. the first thing that I searched for Golden Luigi is is Luigi wearing a golden armor. Determined to nice. The senators to he's basically a knight. He agrees oh, so he's a unit in this game. Alliance. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Luigi's the best unit. He maxes yeah, he maxes out speed. Yeah, definitely. Prologue, the Great Advance. Well, we will have to look at the Great Advance next time. Ooh, interesting. Vlogware is so close now. It's a fortress city near the Benyon border. We'll storm the city at night and hit them fast enough that the troops inside the fortress won't have time to take their positions. Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> Skinner? <laughs> Give him the Simpson Skinner voice. Uh, let me think. How do I do a Skinner voice? Um. Yes! Finally, a chance to rend my foes. Jacob, I'm sure you watch so many Steam Ham videos, you should know. Yes, I watch, I wa I watch Vinny Vine Sauce play Steamed Hams games. Really now? <laughs> yeah. Now I gotta watch that. <laughs> it, it, he's just playing a bunch of shitty Steam Hams games for 50 minutes. It's funny. You know what? I gotta find it right now. <laughs> the announcer said the N word when saying the Lion King's name. Oh shit, you're right. What? But I would rather have a head on fight. Why do we have to wait until nightfall? Like a pack of cowards. So, did the Lion King have a son or something? Yeah, you could say that. Dot dot dot. What's our role in this? I want the Grail mercenaries to act as a guerrilla force. Take out their fire mages and blister. They're really bad news for us, Sagus. Huh, enough talking. To the battlefield. To taste enemy fear. No more waiting. No, Skinner. This isn't the kind of fight where a general takes the field. You should stay behind. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, I'll fight. As a, a general of Galliot does not hide behind his men. Weren't you supposed to say, are you insane? And I said, are you serious? Leave this tactics gar garbage to the barrack. We need our only our claws and teeth. I call an end to this meeting. Time to kill. Wait, Skinner! Skinner? <laughs> Blast. Are you okay? Yeah, that thick-headed fool. This will be his first major battle. Hopefully he won't get his teeth kicked out. How about you, Ike? You sure about this? Sure about what? Well, you know, you're a barrel, I'm the goose. You sure you want to take our side? 
The Glue's alliance is on is in the right, Ranulf. The Senate's actively ignoring you. And worse, they're murdering your messengers. Why shouldn't we help you get the Senate's attention? I'm sure my people understand. Besides, I'd never abandon a friend in need. Huh, thanks, Ike. It's a lot more easier. It's a lot more easy to see his cat ears in this game, if you ask me. It is. Anyways, we're doing info and saving. Because I, <laughs> I want to go to bed soon. I know. Missed. There's no items. Wow. How sad. <laughs> well, it said importance one star, so yeah. And no support. That's that's Dang. awful. Look at all the units we have. All right. Let's check on the units before we go to bed. All Let's right. see Ike's stats. Ike. Yes, wow. Four, 44 HP, 28 skill, and the Atard, whatever that is. And he is the hero, and he he's in the hero class. Nice. This is the only class that Ike has. I mean, no unit can promote as a hero. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. He was, a. Uh... He was a whatever he was in Path of Radiance, and then he became a lord, and now he's a hero. Well, I mean, he is a ranger before. Ranger, yeah, that's the one. Basically, rangers are mercenaries. Yeah, that's the one I forgot about. I mean, in, in context, it makes sense why Ike is going to be the hero, because he literally he literally saved Crimea and Elencia. Good. Does he have any skills? Let's see the skills. Nope. Only shove. But he is Let's S see. rank and sword already. <laughs> Titania. Mm. Wow. The... She's also pretty good. She's an axe paladin. Yeah, basically a great knight. Let's see skills. She has Kanto. She, can count she has Kanto. Let's go. Good ass That's skill. That's the FE4 Link Arena skill. Let's go. And counter. And Soren has Adept. I forgot what that does. Okay, wow, he, that. He has that all is, of the tomes. That is. Okay, those stats are literally insane. At this rate, all the stats are insane. Wait, what, what does Adept do? I want to see. Grants two consecutive attacks. Ooh, that's pretty good. I mean, with the amount of speed that he has, he'll be fine. Yeah. Mist is a cleric now. And she has Florette. Oh, yeah, she, she has, like, swords now. It's a lightweight blade. It uses magic. Finally. She actually has a sword that does magic damage. <laughs> and, Ro Rolf. and James Rolf. We didn't use him ever. But he's here. His, his stats are average, I will say. I mean, if you want to take the opportunity to train up, you can. Boyd's Boyd, pretty, however? He's alright. He's got a killer I mean, axe. Yeah, Boyd. He might be useful. And Oscar. He's Boyd, got, Oscar, he's, he's, he, got he, he's got good stats. He's your Lance Pal. Lance Paladin. He's got short spears. Shinnen, oh he, maxes, he maxes out skill almost. And speed. Wow. Yeah, see, he has yeah. a, he starts with a killer bow. And he apparently yeah, gets it, crits really often. You know what, Jacob? He is on a... Yeah, we have ourselves a keeper. Yeah. He all... And not just that, he's almost maxing out resistance. Yep. I don't care if he's racist. I want to keep him. <laughs> yeah, he is going to... my mic. Yeah, he is going to be the best unit that you'll ever have. Which is interesting, because bow units normally suck. Wow, that strength. Is he really going to be better than Braum? I mean, the wiki says Gatra is better than Braum, but... I mean, I look at those stats. Look at those stats. He's a monster. Well, maybe this game will finally make me like Gatra. <laughs> I really hope so. And Riz. We didn't get to use Riz much, but he has L-Light. And really good magic. But his Braum. speed is really low. Yeah. 
And Mia, she maxes out speed, of course. She almost maxes out speed. And she has the wool mama. You know, it's... I think it's possible that I might max out her strength. Yeah, you should. I, I love, think those I are love, all the units. I love this team already. Who do you think... Who do you think are worth keeping? Because honestly, I think Ike, Titania, and Soren are worth keeping. Yeah, uh, definitely keep Mist, too. Yeah, and, and Paul's... And, and Shinnen. Also, yeah, and even Gatchery. Yep, and Mia. Yep, Mia. The only ones I'm not really sure about is Rolf, Void, uh, uh, and Ritz. You can make and Oscar's a maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you look at Oscar's stats, his stats are very good. Yeah, his stats are pretty good. He he's just kind of a hit or miss unit for me. So. And we're not going to get any bonus experience, so thank God for that. Yep, so we can save and call it a and day. That, and he said that Gatry is a Braum killer. Oh, well, that's too bad. <laughs> I think it's possible. Prologue. I mean, look, Gatry was also better than Braum and Path of Radiance. We just refused to acknowledge it. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe this time we will use Gatry. We, we can. We, 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 um... We have him at the start of part three, so he's got good availability. So yeah. Anyways, we we had another three-hour stream, guys, and uh, it's so dark in here you can't even see my face. <laughs> Anyways, I'm guys, so th tired. thanks for watching. Uh, Radiant Dawn. Make sure to like Next and subscribe. Week, and we will and play. We will play the Grail Mercenaries. I'm excited for the Grail Mercenaries. Yeah, we will. We will. We get to start part three, and that's when the game's gonna get really interesting. And this, so. and this is where the action truly begins. <laughs> this is where the fun begins. <laughs> yep. But uh, yeah, it's really fun that we get to interact again. Can't wait. Never, never been so excited to see Bike again. But yeah, Jacob. Like I said. I never thought that we would get even more excited for Radiant Dawn than Path of Radiance. Yeah, now I have something to look forward to next week. Exactly. It just so, makes me wonder yeah. if you even like Micaiah. Oh, I love Micaiah. She's great. Even though that her... Even though even though that that the units that we gain from the Dawn Brigade are, are kind of boring. Yeah, I mean, I like Nolan. He's great. And, yeah, Nolan uh, is goaded. And South is also pretty good. What about Laura? Yeah, Laura's good. Who, who else can you can you remember that's good? Bolug. He's good. Yep. I like him. And, and, the, surprise um, we, and the surprise that we had was freaking uh, Black Knight. Yeah, Black Knight. Oh, and Jill. Jill returned. Yeah, Jill and, returned. And, and Eliana. Or freaking, uh, oh yeah, I, I remember Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey, yep. So there were some there were some good units in, in, in part one as well, but that's that's long behind us now, so we're going to do part three next time. But, uh, yeah. I'm not sure when, when will Jill return, but... Ooh, interesting. Yeah. That's Lillian, I think. Lilina, I'm pretty sure. Lelina. Yeah. I think that's her name, man. You want to hear something funny? What? Roy and uh, L Lillian are together. Oh, no wonder there's so much fan art of her. <laughs> it makes a lot more yeah, sense. Ba basically, they're like Martha. They're like the Martha Sh and Sheeta of the couple of Fire Emblem Six. That, that, explain, that explains a lot. Yeah, so basically both Marth and Roy have significant others. And Ike's a Chad. He don't need no one. <laughs> who, who else? Uh, Lucina? However, I don't... <laughs> Lucina it, and Robin. It's debatable if they would be paired. Uh, Byleth and Edelgard. <laughs> no, I don't think that will ever happen. Damn it. Prom and Robin. Yeah, Krom and Robin. Uh, the female version of Robin. Corin and his cousin, because he's really messed up. 
he or she is messed up. Yep. Um, and uh, Pepsi Chan and Ivy. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Who, who are you referring to? Hulk Chan and Ivy? Okay, you know what? That is better. Yeah. Uh, I ship them a lot. Yeah. And it's nice to see Nephany and Heather together. I, that I very, I very much ship them. Yep. Well, anyways, man, I'm gonna go. So, I'll see you uh, probably next week, and then we'll yeah. do more Radiant Dawn. Yeah, it's getting late for me. Yeah, we did it a bit later because I was playing uh, Honey Pop with the boys. And honestly, I had to make dinner. <laughs> honestly, we could have done this a bit early. No, I couldn't. Seb Seb bugged me to do it at a specific time, so What if he what if he didn't bug you? Maybe well, we could have done this early. <laughs> well if he didn't bug me earlier, I probably would have done like an infinite pit run or something. Yeah, I guess. Even yeah. though you didn't even want to do Radiant Dawn. Oh, well, I wanted to do Radiant Dawn today. I was excited for it. Do you do you still have time for infinite pits though? Tonight, no, but I might do it tomorrow. I think it's for the best since and I am. Uh, we'll gonna... I also do Ninja Gaiden tomorrow, guys. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for that. I'm gonna continue playing Garen Quest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could play Garen Quest. Yeah, anyways, it's the best uh, pod ever. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, have a good night, man. I'll see ya. <laughs> Adios, bro. Adios. Went to go jack off. All right, guys. I will see you then. So take care.